hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl again in the house thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for always giving me that great support i always appreciate you guys and i don't take you for granted and if this is your very first time to stop by please consider hitting that subscribe button and join our beautiful awesome family and so in today's video you're gonna be seeing these passport sisters warning the other girls or the other women about Royalton Hotel that it has got thieves. This passport sister is warning the other passport sisters not to go and visit the Royal Hotel, Royalton Hotel. We, we've been hearing about the passport brothers of late, yet what we know is that there's also a passport sisters movement. Passport brothers movement actually are going abroad to search for wives to marry, to search for women who can be Actually, that it's like they're trying to move away from these modern women. They want the traditional women. So these passport brothers are going to other countries where they can be appreciated, whereby they can be loved and respected by the, those women. For example, if you go to the United States, a lot of men there, they are moving from the U United States, coming into other countries, for example, in the Philippines, in Croatia, and they're going to get women from there. They normally say that women from the Philippines and the Croatian and other, uh, other countries are so much loving. They are actually traditional women compared to the, their counterparts, their women who are in the United States. Because these women, they know their roles as women or as wives, what they're supposed to do to their men. And you, here we are seeing there is another passport sisters group. And this passport sister is warning the rest of the passport sisters not to visit this Royal Town Hotel that is got thieves. So let's go straight into this video and find out why is she warning the other passport sisters. It's 4 a.m. here in Bali and I just had an epiphany. I'm not quite sure the fundamental issue of like dating in America is the people. After being here for just like two days, <laughs> I've discovered that the reason why they're like outlawing premarital sex here is because, again, there's no homeless people here. All the families live together in compounds and family uh, property is passed down through generations. So when you I asked several men here too, how did you meet your wife? Because every man here is married. And he said, oh, I met her in high school. She was my high school sweetheart. Or I met her just in the neighborhood. Our families knew each other. It's really just that simple because they have a, a family dynamic that's very nuclear here. So they believe in love. They believe in marriage. The vibe is also very relaxing, very family centered. It's just extremely different than the individualist culture we come from, where there's a lot of homeless people and parents kick their kids out at like 17, wow. 18. Um, morning, I actually I am taking home sister, just that simple concept alone. That, like, from when I have children, hotel, even like as much as my mom don't want to live with me, but I've country. actually offered her to they live with me multiple times because I believe in a nuclear family unit. And in there. that regard, I'm, ex Most of I'm them super concerned. Super and conservative, bro. Like, I believe in families living together. I just actually do. Being but with that being been. said, I think that this this is a lesson and this says something really about the way that we date in america and it's not us that's the problem it's the systems in play it's the capitalistic individualism that is really fucking us up good morning so now i'm at the royal in the grill right and somehow I come back to my room and Rome's jewelry's missing. So now I'm like, okay, you know, call the people, see what's going on. And now all of a sudden they're telling me, oh, this three to five business days. It didn't take three to five business days for the jewelry to get stolen. I'm at the Royal Tinder Grill. Do not come here. At the end of the day, they have people that steal your stuff. You can't even leave your stuff in the room. Don't tell me about... Listen, at the end of the day, where the where the piece of jewelry was located, you would have to go through my stuff to go get it. So at the end of the day, I need answers. Marriott, Rutan, the grill, whoever. I need answers and I need them now. At the end of the day, this is ridiculous. Y'all know y'all... This is ridiculous. Here's what happened. I went to Jamaica. I made the stupid choice to have a one-night stand. 
I came home from Jamaica. I found myself very, very sick. I could not get out of bed. This was in, within about one week. I could not get out of bed. I was blacking out. If I did get out of bed, I was passing out. I wasn't eating. I was very dehydrated. I went to the emergency room. They sent me home probably five or six times with a random diagnosis. And then when they finally decided to check me in, I stayed in the hospital. They did every possible test. They were running blood work all the time. They couldn't find what was wrong. It took an infectious disease doctor to come and think to do a spinal tap. And I will forever, ever, ever be thankful to that doctor for coming to my rescue and thinking to do a spinal tap because it wasn't showing up in my blood because it doesn't show up in your blood for three to six months, but it does show up in a spinal tap. Ask my doctor. The only souvenirs you should be bringing back is the ones at the gift shop. Passport sisters. Okay, did y'all see about a day ago when these two girls came out about talking about being uh, drugged and great in the Bahamas on this cruise or whatever. They say they were picking seashells on the seashore when two staff members approached them and told them whether they could find like better seashells and they could get like this two for one drink special and they took them up on their offer in which when they went with the two staffers they were um sa well they have been on several news medias talking about their stories or whatever in which you know the story did seem kind of a little fishy they were like crying but wasn't crying but you don't really want to judge situations like this so now the authorities in the bahamas and the staffers are pretty much um saying that this was something ain't right about the story pretty much saying that the timestamps don't match that um the two guys who supposedly did this that are arrested did get fired but it was because they broke protocol so much not that they did something wrong to these ladies but they broke protocol like you have a way of doing things as employees and they didn't do it the correct way but if you haven't seen the news clips go see the news clips because in let me see this one right here was on youtube and when this girl right here breaks this girl right here breaks down to like cry but she doesn't really cry she just makes the noise the other girl sitting beside her is like she looks at her and almost get tickled and had to catch herself i know it ain't just me tripping right they have started to go find me they're telling their story but uh what do y'all think i call bullshit but i could be wrong okay y'all i don't know something about this is just not really sitting right with me so i watched a little interview that these two women from kentucky did um with i believe it was banfield news or something like that news nation and they were talking about how you know they got sa allegedly in the bahamas and they were advising people you know to be careful going to the bahamas and stuff like that now they said that when they went to the bahamas they were offered drinks by these men and these workers i guess there were workers at the resort they were at and they accepted the drinks and these men also said that they knew a place to find seashells so they followed them there and that's when the essay happened they also uh, showed a photo of i guess one of the alleged attacks that happened um i'm not 100 percent sure but the strange thing about this to me is the fact that the bahamas spoke out and said that they refused any kind of medical care and to even be seen by a physician while they were there and that when they looked over the security footage of the resort it did not match up with what they said happened so i'm not a hundred percent sure who's telling the truth and what's going on but something is not making sense here now, the name of the women is amber sharar and don don gala dobson and like i said they said they were s8 on a beach in the bahamas during a cruise ship vacation um and they were offered cocktails by a worker at the resort yeah i watched the interview if you haven't go watch it it's just something about the vibes in the interview that just it's just strange but i mean i'm not saying they're lying i'm just giving you all the information i'm finding out but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments that's it guys passport sisters of late we've been hearing a lot of a lot of a lot of people complaining even in one of these videos there are a lot of passport sisters in korea what are they going to do in korea what do they what is their aim what is their agenda in korea are they looking forward to get married to those korean guys 
these passport sisters, and most of them are African women, going into Korea to get Korean guys. And you've actually seen in other countries too, it's actually, it's a movement. And like, like just like the other movement of passport brothers, no, this is the passport sisters. And it's actually really growing and growing. They are going into other countries to look for suitable men. And what we know is that for women, most of these women, they want men who can provide, men who can look after them, men who can take good care of them and loving men. Because in their countries too, these women can't find this kind of men. This is the reason why they are going into other countries. And in most scenarios, most of these women, if they are not very keen enough and they are not very careful, they end up being robbed, they end up being mugged, and even to the extent of being unalived. So guys, what do you think about this video? Let me know your opinions. Let me know your take on this in the comment section. And let's catch up next. Join me for another waiting reaction. It's me, your girl. Bye.